What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As if you don't know, I'm here at The Future in LA. I got my buddy Mo here and um, we just been cooking out content. Let's do it. Give me the context. So, so you are a client, you are shopping around for video. Okay. And you're gonna ask for a discount. I won't okay. I'm gonna tell you my price and you're gonna be like, oh, that's more than- Am I, I like a really hard client or am I vibing with you? You're vibing, but you're like, oh, that's yeah, too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you. you. Know I mean? okay. Like a little bit of friction so they know. Is this a phone conversation? Phone call conversation. Okay. Drigo, everything sounds super good. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to do the work with you. But I got to be honest, do you provide any discounts since I'm coming to you for business? Yeah, we normally provide discounts for our long-term clients. Um, what kind of discount are you looking for? I mean, I'm gonna bring more business your way. I know that for sure, because uh, we're looking for video content consistently. So That's I, great. Think, I think I'm gonna be one of those long-term clients. Um, but I don't know, maybe just a little bit off the top here, maybe something that works for both me and you. All right, so Mo, honestly, I think our prices are beyond fair for what we do. And the project that we're talking about sounds super exciting. I'd be more than happy to give you a discount on our next project together since you're bringing so many more. For this one being our first one working collaborative, uh, you know, I think we need to just move with our agency rate and then we could discuss this again on our next project. Okay, um, what were you thinking so I just know what kind of discount you're gonna give me for the next project? Well, it really depends on what the next project is, but you know, I'll be fair with you and you know, me, I wanna build a long lasting relationship with you. And I think that goes both ways, but I just think, you know, us starting off, I think we just need to move things along, um, you know, for what you're asking for. I wanna know, I wanna knock this out of the park for you. So if me coming in already pulling money from the budget, I think it's only gonna affect the production. It's one of the situations that time over time, you're gonna like, ev not every situation is gonna be like this. So you need to figure out what that client's kind of asking you for. And it all depends on the vibe, you know, how the whole process goes. Cause at this point, most coming in pretty easy and it seems like he, you know, is willing to work with me. Mm -hmm. It's those clients that hit you up and they're like, well, a thousand dollars, I was thinking 500 bucks. You just need to figure out, is this gonna be one of those clients that, you know, you're talking to them already and they're just draining you of energy? You don't wanna give a discount. I mean, these are the situations that the guys are be like, well, how much do you charge? I'm gonna be like $5,000 for an easy project because I already know if I'm gonna work with them. I think this is a great thing learn from Chris is a phone call test. Mm -hmm. The client calls you at seven o'clock at night, eight o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, three o'clock in the morning. Are you gonna be excited to pick up that phone call? If the answer is no, you're not charging enough. And it's, and it's kind of hard to think about it when you're just getting started and you're, you know, you, you need the money, mm -hmm. but it's one of those things that those clients will drain you. They will take yeah. from you and that or eventually it's gonna take from you running your business. What I love that you did, which was very specific, was <clears throat> you kind of like tested their bluff or tested their logic, right? So me as a client, I said, can we get a discount on this project? And you were like, we, you were very straight up. You were like, we only give discounts to our um, recurring long-term clients. And I said, well, I'm gonna give you more, I'm gonna give you more work. And you were like, wonderful. I will apply a discount that is good for both of us on the next project. So now it's like, oh snap, he, you've given me a reason to one, come back, mm -hmm. but also you're testing the negotiation I'm yeah. coming at you with, right? And I think that's a big takeaway. Like you are not responsible or like hand to the fire obligated to give a discount in that moment. Yeah. So I think it was awesome of you to like read my reasons of like, well, you know, doing the cliche client thing, like, well, I'm gonna get you more business. And it's like, perfect. Next time we do another project together, I'm gonna give you a discount, no problem. And I think that's something that comes with practice because when you're hungry for the business, mm -hmm. you're always like, yes, 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 yes. I'll, I'll do it. How what about does 20? it take? How about, yeah. yeah, what's it gonna take? How about 25 off the top? But you, I love that you were confident in your price and that you were still very much willing to build the relationship. And I think some people can't live 
in that gray area where it's like I'm gonna be human and I'm at the same time gonna be real. Mm -hmm. And I think you did that really well. And I think, and the other thing to keep in mind in this, when a client asks you for a discount, ask them what kind of discount they're looking for. Mm. Don't ever offer them the discount. I'm like, so what are you thinking as a discount, right? Because like, right. you don't, I've been in a situation that I was thinking like, you know, three or 400 bucks and they're like, well, like a hundred dollars because you know, at 5,000, over $5,000, I gotta get approval from our controller. So if it's under true, that, true, true, can, true. can you just make it five? I'm like, yes. Like if it's one of those situations of like, you know, it's, and this is all progress guys. Like this is gonna happen through you over time. It's not always like this, mm -hmm. but the more you're aware of these things, the easier your life's gonna get. So those are situations you wanna apply. You wanna ask the reason, what is the discount that you need? I need a hundred dollars off so I can clear this under five grand. Perfect, right. you know what I mean? I'll take the hit, it's better than you, in a sense, you know, you're paying somebody a yeah, commission yeah, yeah. fee, a hundred dollars to close a five thousand dollar deal because it's off the budget. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Yeah, and and I think it it shows that you're willing to work with that person. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because if it's a hundred dollars to make or break the deal, you eat the hundred dollars because yeah. you never know if there's going to be another five thousand dollar deal in the future. But I think it's all relative to the client, right? And the vibe that they're giving off is: are they just trying to milk you, or are they just? Um, or are they really wanting to work with you and they're trying to find a nice common ground for each of them? Because I've had that same thing. They were like, yo, we can we can do this price, but I need you to bill me in $10,000 increments or else I have to get it approved by the board. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, you have enough trust for me to break up this invoice into this, like to break up this project into that much to, to get it done and to do it with me? Like, that's awesome. You know yeah. what I mean? So. And that's, and to go to another point, I've had the situations when you are working with repeat clients that, you know, most of the time when you're starting out, the clients are gonna ask you like, what's the cost, what's the price? But then you start working with certain agencies that over time, you know, you just gotta have the conversation with them, like human and human. They're like, hey, listen, I really like how we work together. I know sometimes you get smaller projects, sometimes you get bigger projects. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to work with you on those smaller projects, but you just need to let me know what, what that ballpark is at. So like, I don't have to come and play this price negotiation game with you. I yeah. wanna make this work for you. And you know, just be upfront with me and I'll make these yeah. projects work for you, even if I have to do it at cost, right? I'd rather do a project $800 at cost to keep a client that brings me five to $10,000 projects all the time. Yeah. So like you just have the conversation with somebody, be human, have a relationship. Yeah, yeah, and I, I agree. I think something that you did that can be said in a different way to someone's advantage is let's say you've already anchored your price. So they know that that's where we're playing and then they come back with a discount. I think you just throw the ball back in their court, right? Instead of saying instead of saying something like, uh, well, we don't do discounts, yada, yada, yada. okay, what were you thinking? Mm -hmm. You know, and it, they may say, well, I was really thinking $100 off and you're like, bet. Or they can say, well, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like 25% off. And you're like, that's $1,000 that would change the scheme of this, this project. So. Either we're just talking about price now, so we need to change the scope of the mm -hmm. project, or this is not that valuable to you. Because exactly. it doesn't sound like I'm really solving a problem for $1,000, for $2,000. Uh, and then you, you kind of go back, right? So like, tell me what are your expectations for something within this budget range? This is what I've done in the past for this budget range. Is that okay? And they're like, yeah. And now you have a $4,000 project instead of a $5,000 project, but at a smaller scope. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's you you're not obligated yeah you can always dance exactly you can always dance all right next thing we got here is gonna be my boss all and they're right, looking so wow we got chris you ready Bowie in the house you got stream right no, no it, just, it looks so late but it's not late it's 5 30. chris so we made, yeah. i mean we made the one piece of advice for geographers getting started out there right now focus on your craft learn to tell the story that's what makes you different so simple. That is all for this video, guys. If you're new here, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.